yards. Tackle over there, number 82, Jeff Schneider for Wyoming Park. They're going to mark it at about the 48-yard line. Make it a gain of seven. It'll be second down and three. West 19, Wyoming Park 14. We've got 3.15 still to play third quarter. Again, next Friday night. We don't know where we'll be. We know only it'll be a first-round MHSAA playoff game. So join us next Friday night, 11.30. High school football's playoffs here on 41. Cavazos for the midfield strike. It'll be third down and still a yard or two. Rodriguez, Bob Rodriguez, 5'7", 165 pounds and a junior, makes the stop for Park. Last year, Park won this ball game 20 to nothing. Right side and breaking into the clear, Steve Cavazos. 25 and down to the 19-yard line. Steve Cavazos, the big gainer, about 32 yards on the carry. It'll be first and 10, West Catholic. Well, Steve Cavazos again, that 5'7", 165-pound frame of him. He's built. Ball game 20 to nothing. Right side and breaking into the clear, Steve Cavazos. 25 and down to the 19-yard line. Steve Cavazos, the big gainer, about 32 yards on the carry. It'll be first and 10, West Catholic. Well, Steve Cavazos again, that 5'7", 165-pound frame of him. He's built low to the ground, and he breaks through. Here you'll see him come popping right out of there, and only Tom Braun quick enough to catch him and pull him down, or he had another six for West Catholic. Steve Cavazos must be over the century mark now. I would think we had him for 60-plus yards in the first half. That went good for 30 and a few. Deregnacourt goes off left side. He's down near the 15 for a gain of about four. I thought for a moment I saw a flag, but the officials aren't huddling and talking about it, so I must be wrong. Jerry DeWolf, the cornerback, number 41, on the stop for Wyoming Park. It's been a strange season for Park. Haven't had a single home game this year. Their field is being renovated, so it's been on the road all year for Wyoming Park. Dive play, first back at the football see how well West Catholic disguises their offense as several Park players were hitting the second back thinking he had the football. Well you're right that's a sign Mark of good deception on the part of the quarterback and good fake uh, uh, or the backs carrying through their fakes very well. One of the compliments to a back is when you get tackled when you don't have the ball. Third down and right side Ostapovich tries to turn the corner and does touchdown. 15 yards, the touchdown run for Mark Ostapovich. And the lead stretches 25-14 for West Catholic. Well, West Catholic pounding up the middle pretty uh, solid, and all of a sudden they slip it outside as Mark Ostapovich makes a nice move here. You'll see him sprint to the outside right there. He shakes off a tackle, turns the corner, up the sideline, six points. West Catholic up on top, and uh, gets six more up there now. 25-14, West on top. Ostapovich, what you call sneaky quick. Looks like he's bottled up in the corner and he just turns him on. Nothing doing this time as a gentleman you've been talking about all night long, Larry Martin. He shoots right through over center, snags Mark Ty Lee by the ankles and drags him down. The extra point attempt fails. And West, out front 25-14, just over a minute to play, third quarter. Well, we thought it was important, Mark, that uh, West uh, Catholic, re not West Catholic, but Wyoming Park reestablished themselves out here, but it's uh, West Catholic that's come out. out. Twenty-five, fourteen, just over a minute to play, third quarter. Well, we thought it was important, Mark, that... Uh, West uh, Catholic 
re-established, not West Catholic, but Wyoming Park re-established themselves out here, but it's uh, West Catholic that's come out and taken over right where they left off as far as the end of the first half is concerned. As They have been uh, able to stop Wyoming Park's offense, and now offensively, they've got themselves on the scoreboard again, and uh, they just seem to have things under control. And at the very outset of this ball game, you sure would not have expected that. Chad Preston boots it away, going to be fielded on a run and falling down with the football at about the 25-yard line. Number 80, David Bentley. And it'll be first and 10, Wyoming Park. Cavasso, 16 carries, 106 yards. The word from John Shute, our statistician, also a touchdown. And Wyoming Park will come up first and 10. Football at their own 24. They trail 25-14 and need to get something going here. We're in the final minute of the third quarter. Stickler wants to throw. Pressure's coming. He gets it away. Is it going to be complete? Might be interference over there on Ostapovich. Irick caught it anyway. A great reception. Well, and he's Irick, hurting a little bit. Right. Irick caught the ball, and he was way up in the air and outstretched. And you'll see that the defensive back will uh, hit him right there. And... He'll land very hard. See if we can catch that for you. There's the stretch by Irig. You see how high up in the air he is, and he's going to land right on his back, uh, right on the sidelines there. And he was shaking shortly uh, and uh, just had to sit down for a minute, maybe catch his wind, and uh, now he's back into the huddle. Very clearly was interference on the replay. You could see that Irig was up and waiting for the football when he was hit by the defensive back. So a good call. And you mark off the yardage in high school football. It's not the uh, uh, same rule you see in the professional ranks where the football is marked where the interference occurred. It's a 15-yard penalty and an automatic first down. So mark the football out at the 40 where it'll be first and 10 for Wyoming Park. 45 seconds still to play third quarter. Brad Stickler having a very good game. And Ron Eyring caught three balls for 99 yards before that one. Won't give credit for any yards on that catch, but could have had the yards. Boy, good option run by Brad Stickler. Takes it out across midfield. I think he lost he, the ball. He lost Martin. the football. You're right. West Catholic comes up with the football. Boy, that was a great hit in. Could have had the yards. Boy, good option run by Brad Stickler. Takes it out across midfield. I think he lost he, the ball. He lost Martin. the football. You're right. West Catholic comes up with the football. Boy, that was a great hit in there again, as you uh, called it. Brad Stickler just turned right up inside on the option play and had an excellent gain, and a defensive back uh, came up there, and I'm not sure who it was. Maybe Jeff uh, Redwin. I think Redwin came up with the football, if nothing else. Boy, boy, what a hit. I never saw the football come loose. First and ten, West Catholic. Football just short of midfield. Dive play, I think that's Cavazos who takes it across the center stripe down to about the 48-yard line of Wyoming Park. Clock now down to 15 seconds still to play third quarter. We'll see if West huddles quickly enough for one more play. Gain is about three yards, so it'll be second down and seven. Been a great football game here at Houseman Field. And we are pleased that you've joined us. 25-14 right now, West on top. And that's the horn. Three quarters under our belt. One great 12-minute quarter still to Just underway, Timmy Derechnikort breaks a couple of tackles. He's in the clear, 30, 25 down the sidelines, and Tim Derechnikort will take it 48 yards. The touchdown run 
And West Catholic busting this one wide open. 31-14. 31 unanswered points after trailing 14-0. Well, Tim directed the court with an excellent run this time, and again, it's outside running for West Catholic as Duregna Court makes his cut right there and then cuts back to the outside a little bit more and it's a foot race down the sideline. Nobody going to catch Tim Duregna Court, the senior, 5'6", 148 pounds, six more West Catholic. And uh, boy, what a turnaround, Mark. I guess so. Colossal's on to try the extra point. The boot is up. And between the two bars, 11.50. Still to play in this football game. And West Catholic has come from a 14-0 deficit to take an 18-point lead. The board, and it looked as though West Catholic were in trouble, but since that point in this one, it's been 31 or 32 now unanswered points by uh, West Catholic, and they've controlled the ball offensively, and they've controlled the game defensively. Booting it away is Chad Preston, and he gets all of the foot into this one. Drives Park all the way back to the goal line. Trosip is out across the 20, maybe the 23 or 4 yard line, and Park will start first and 10 right there. I guess maybe it's getting to be time to push the panic button if you're Jack Verdine in Wyoming Park. Well, we had West Catholic with a position to push the panic button early in the ball game, and you're right, now it's Park's turn. They've got to come up with some points. They've been trying to pass the ball uh, pretty generally here in the second half. They've left their running game, especially the inside running game, and gone to the pass. They've connected on some good ones. They're going to have some yardage passing-wise, but they've been unable to sustain a drive and get any more points on the board. Brad Stickler will lead him up and drop straight back to throw. Over the middle, incomplete. Like a crossing pattern, I think intended for Jason Baker. Over his head and falls incomplete. Well, It'll he was second down 10. He was trying to hit the short man, right? Jason Baker from his tight end position coming across the middle, but uh, he overthrew his receiver and really there was nobody anywhere near the ball. Offense or defense there, it was kind of lonely. Looks like West Catholics dropping a few more players back off the line now. Making it a little tougher to throw. This looks like screen all the way, and somebody Ooh. was over there and playing it all the way. Good play by number 29, Tony Lennon. He read screen from the word go, and he was right there to smother that play. It'll be third down 10. Brad Stickler gave away the screen play that time as he, he sprinted back uh, way deep, and it was very obvious. And you're right, Lennon knows. Uh, he picked that up right away, went over there in the middle of the screen, and had he been able to intercept it, Mark, he'd had a short little trot for six points. Wave of substitutions come on for West Catholic. Third down, 10, facing Wyoming Park. Back to throw is Stickler. It is complete, out near the 35. Good for first down yardage, finds Ron Eyrig again. And that's been a good combination this football game for Park Stickler to Eyrig. Good for about 10. It'll be first and 10. It has been an excellent combination. A lot of good yardage there. They just have to keep it going, Mark. Their offensive uh, scheme is working. And uh, they've had a lot of problems keeping it going, either by way of a turnover or they've had some penalties at times that uh, have stopped that offense. They can't afford that. They've got to keep everything right and execute the plays just like they did that one. The center, Tim Trosip. Snaps it to Stickler, who's back to throw. Sends it out over the middle. Man is out there. It is complete. Down inside the 40-yard line. Diving catch by Mike Rosema. Oh, my. That was a great catch. Mike Rosema extending himself to uh, catch the ball and hitting the ground. And he got himself up and wanted to run. But, of course, in high school ball, once you're down, Mark, and uh, your knee touches or the ball touches, that's it. It's all over right from there. Well, Brad Stickler, I'm sure, has piled up 200-plus yards passing now in this football game. He's got 10 and a half minutes still to play, and with his team trailing 32-14, you've got to believe he's going to get plenty more opportunities to fire it up. Stickler on the bootleg. He eludes one tackler, gets it away incomplete through the arms of Jason Baker. Heavy pressure coming that time from number 88, Trent Heitzman. And again, Stickler trying to hit the uh, short man in his pattern, his tight end, Jason Baker. 
again, the pressure, I think, is what uh, made the defense work on that one, Mark. Uh, Baker really uh, fairly well open. There was a defensive man there, but uh, Baker was open and had uh, Stickler had just a little bit more time to deliver the ball. Possibly could have been completed. Second down, 10. Football at the 39 of West Catholic. Park trying to come back from 32 unanswered points. Man open out there, incompleted. There's a flag, a late flag. Let's see. Rosamo was out there directing the court on the coverage. I didn't see any real contact. Well, I did, Mark. There was definitely a bump there. I'm not sure uh, it was uh, anybody in particular's fault, just two players going for the ball. But the officials uh, decided that this one's going to be uh, an interference call against West Catholic. We'll watch him mark it off, and then we should be able to hear our official uh, tell us just what he saw. Defensive pass interference against the green. Automatic first well, down. Well, interference is the call. And watching the replay, I'm not sure we could tell whether or not Tim Deregnacord really got a hand in the way. But march off some yards against West Catholic. It'll be first and ten park. Football down at the 24 of West. Stickler back to throw again. Over the middle, crossing pattern intercepted. And down on one knee, making the interception, Mark Ostapovich. Back at about the seven-yard line, and the Park drive is thwarted. Well, and another turnover as Park actually moving the ball quite well by way of the airways. But Stickler very, uh, very good at hitting his receivers. This time he overthrows it just a little bit. You see the outstretched hands of his receiver and uh, intercepted West takes over right on the eight yard line so they're deep in a hole mark but they've had excellent offensive drives so far i wouldn't be, be surprised to see him move right out with it again well that interception was a matter of about one foot the receiver just barely failing to get his hands on that football new quarterback is in now for west catholic number 18 steve brennan checks in they'll run a dive play right up the middle pick up four or five yards so number 18 Steve Brennan 5'11 165 and a junior and perhaps the heir apparent to Mark Tylee's job for next season second down about six Miles backfield rooting a tackler and then being stood up at about the 10 yard line on the carry was number 47, Jeff Redwin. Mark the football at about the 11, where it'll be third down, and perhaps seven, and even nine minutes still to play. West 32, Wyoming Park 14. We've got to start thinking about our old Kent MVPs and some difficult decisions as we seem to face week after week Every after week. week. Oh, the quarterback, high formation behind him. Third down, wants to run. His back kind of lost his footing. He is out to about the 13, 14 yard line. Going to be short of the first down. Tony Lennon on the carry. It'll be fourth down and punt. Facing West Catholic. 8.15 still to play. This one's not over. Park has shown us they can move the ball through the air. They're going to have to get something going pretty good. Colossos has it fielded at about the midfield strike by number 33, David Trosis, still on his feet and makes about four yards on the return. 32-14, West Catholic on top. Once I collected gorillas and giraffe in Africa. I retired from the Stickler looks around and he's dragged down. The sack goes to number 61, Andy Rinchetti. Got him by the jersey, pulled it up over his helmet almost, and 
dragged him down. Loss is back to about the 48-yard line. Loss of maybe six. It'll be second down and 16. Intended receiver way downfield was Ron Eyrig. Broke free, but a little too late. We've got some new numbers in there for West Catholic defensively also, Mark. To keep our eye out now. Able to pick these guys out. Stick with the throw again. Cavazos coming on the pressure. Gets away from him. Still on his feet. Tries to find Eyrig and the football slips out of his hands. Pressure coming again from number 61, Andy Rinchetti. Cavazos shot through there like a bullet. Well, he was in the backfield, that's for sure. Brad Stickler running for his life. Able to shake off Cavazos and come out here, but then unable to really deliver the ball. I rig in the open, but uh, not for much of a gain, even if he'd have caught it, uh, Mark. I doubt if it had been for a uh, maybe maybe five, eight yards at the most right in that range. Goes incomplete. I think you're right. Mark Ostapovich coming off the field a little gingerly. It looks like well, he seems to be all right. Take him over the sideline. Stickler back to throw, sends it over the middle, picked off. This might be six. Going the other direction, number 37, Noah Gregory, and he's gone. 60 plus yards on the interception, Noah Gregory. Timed the quarterback, Brad Stickler, stepped in front of the intended receiver and takes it 60 plus yards for the touchdown. 38 14, West on top. Well, Brad Stickler uh, back to throw the ball once again. You'll see him deliver the ball. His receiver was open, but he just did not see Noah Gregory as uh, he came from the uh, inside there, picked it off, and then it's a foot race again, and Gregory uh, not going to be caught, and he's got six points. Cavazos sends up the extra point, doesn't get there. 6.52 still to play. West Catholic, 38-14. not managing any first downs. And what a kick this one is. Off the hands of Perry Foster, picks it up, reverses his field now. He's got some running room, 35-40. That West Catholic is not above faking. They'll kick this one. Up and good. Just five men on the line of scrimmage. They might get it, just. Just missed. Nick will send Steve Cavazos back to punt. From his own 40. Oh, he oh. gets a rocket off. Barry Foster over his shoulder. Down 15. Pressure's coming, but Cavazos gets the punt away. Good one. Gonna be West Catholic will punt from their end zone. Cavazos gets away up. Beautiful kick. And Fair Coomer's last week, standing at his own 10. Kind of a loop, stands at his own 30. Had one of 64 yards last week, and look at this one. Drives Bardwell Barr, two punts, 44-yard average, and this won't hurt him any. Ray Bardwell, field, and it's Kamako standing back in punt formation. Well, they waste no time. Get back there and kick it away. Harry Foster will field it inside his own five. Uh, he'll field this one. That's a booming punt as you see Perry Foster backing up right from the beginning and he lets it go through his arms. his own 30-yard line. And Cavazos gets away a good zone 50. Boy, the snap almost over the head of Cavazos. High kick. Will Cavazos stands at his own 27. Gets away a good kick. Fielded at about the 20. Cavazos. 
Rosso's in punt formation. Gets it away, and boy, he booms this one. All 148 pounds, six more West Catholic. And uh, boy, what a turnaround, Mark. I guess so. Rosso's on to try the extra point. The boot is up all through the air. They're going to have to get something going pretty good. Colossos has it.